Hello, this is Randy Snow from the World of Football, and today we're going to be talking about the history of the number zero in the NFL. The NFL recently announced that they are going to allow certain players to wear the number zero beginning with the 2023 season. Jacksonville Jaguars wide receiver Calvin Ridley was the first player to announce he would don the number after the announcement was made. While the number has become common at the college level and in the Canadian Football League in recent years, there have been very few players wearing zero during the history of the NFL. Here's a look at some of those players. About a dozen players are known to have worn the number zero, mostly in the 1920s and 1930s, including one Pro Football Hall of Famer, Wilbur Fats Henry. He wore the number in the late 1920s while playing for the Pottsville Maroons. Safety Orbert Logan wore the number zero while playing for the New Orleans Saints in 1967. His nickname was the Little O because of his small size. He was 5 feet 10 and 182 pounds. Fullback John Olszewski, whose nickname was Johnny O, also wore the number zero with three different teams during the 1950s and 1960s. He wore it with the Washington Redskins, the Denver Broncos, and even the Detroit Lions in 1961. There was also tailback John Clement with the Pittsburgh Steelers from 1946 to 1948. His nickname was Mr. Zero. Center Jim Otto wore double zero when he played for the Oakland Raiders in the 1960s and 1970s. It made sense. After all, his last name began and ended with the letter O. Wide receiver Ken Burrow of the New Orleans Saints and Houston Oilers also wore double zero in the 1970s and early 80s, as well as running back Steve Bagaris of the Washington Redskins and Los Angeles Rams of the 1940s. But the player who immortalized the number zero in the NFL has to be quarterback George Plimpton of the Detroit Lions. He was a Harvard-educated journalist who created something called participatory journalism. Plimpton joined the Lions for their 1963 training camp in order to write a series of articles about the life of a pro football player for Sports Illustrated. He had never played football before, and he did not want the players on the Lions team to know that. He told them that he had been playing semi-pro football in Canada for a team called the Newfoundland Noofs. From his four-week experience in Lions training camp came the 1966 book, Paper Lion. The book was also made into a movie of the same name in 1968, starring Alan Alda, Lauren Hutton, and many Detroit Lions players and coaches. Green Bay Packers head coach Vince Lombardi also made a brief appearance in the movie. Plimpton had already written and published a book called Out of My League in 1961, where he pitched in an exhibition game against a team of all-stars from the American and National Leagues. Other sports that he participated in and wrote about were boxing, tennis, hockey, and golf, with varying degrees of success. On Sunday, September 21, 2003, Plimpton was present at a Lions-Vikings game at Ford Field along with about 40 members of the 1963 Lions team who were featured in the book. The occasion was the 40th anniversary Paper Lion reunion. Plimpton and Alex Karras were named honorary captains of the team that day and participated in the pregame coin toss. During a banquet the night before the game, the Lions surprised Plimpton by presenting him with the original jersey he wore during the 1963 Lions training camp. The blue and silver jersey bearing the number zero, was found just the week before at the bottom of an old trunk in the Lions practice facility in Allen Park. Plimpton died just four days later on September 25, 2003, at his home in New York at the age of 76. For Detroit Lions fans, the number zero is iconic in our team history, thanks to George Plimpton. The book and movie Paper Lion are held in high regard, and I, for one, do not want to see a Detroit Lions player wear the number again. So, Sheila Ford Hamp, if you are listening or watching, please do the right thing and officially retire the number zero in Detroit in honor of George Plimpton, and maybe even add him to the pride of the Lions for his many contributions to the history of our team. Thank you.